Little pickle. Yes, guys. Little pickle. Big pickle. Little pickle. Big pickle. Little pickle. Big pickle. Pickle Rick. Little pickle. Big pickle. Pickle Rick. Little pickle. Pickle Rick. Let's go. Let's go. Yes, guys. Well, hey guys, we are finally, finally back. Yes, it is officially the beginning of a new series of Upper Decker Tuesdays. Because we are finally going to crack into what we got the last time we made it down to Dave and Adams. And that is a box, a retail box of 2022-23 Series 1 Upper Deck. We ripped into a hobby box of series two a little while back, but now we're going to hunt. We're going to see if we can find some Kraken, maybe see if we can find a Matty Baneers. Who knows? Maybe we'll go hunting out in the wild. A number of different young guns. We obviously know we're going to get some young guns in this retail box. And you know we love our six packs, so let's get going. We'll just go straight off the top, straight off the hop. Easy peasy, like George and Wheezy. Here we are. Pack number one of this brand new series. what's we got all right Sean Couturier most people would consider heart and soul the Philadelphia Flyers despite some of the some of the benchings that uh, coach Tortorella inflicts on him John Carlson key piece of that Stanley Cup Washington Capitals team Mitch Marner can he be will he be a key piece of a Playoff successful Toronto Maple Leafs team. Tristan Jari. Vitek Vanacic. Andreas Janssen in his new jersey. Jersey. Former Toronto Maple Leaf, of course. Quinn Hughes. Coming off a huge year with the Vancouver Canucks. And our first insert. Look at that. Uh, got ourselves a Joe... Joel Erickson Eck, center of attention. This is, I believe, actually the first center of attention we've pulled. It is a Minnesota Wild. Shout out to one Julie Farnham, winner of the Little Pickle Channel 200 subs giveaway. And we thank all the rest of you out there who took the time to enter the contest, of course. As we appreciate the fan interaction. Philippe Dano. William Carrier. Barrett Hayton. Shown as the Coyotes now with the Utah HC. Warren Fogel, formerly of the Oilers, of course. Downtown Connor Brown, another formerly. Ryan Suter. John Merrill, Minnesota Wild, and bam! Look at that. Johnny Gaudreau freestyling when he was still with the Calgary Flames. Very nice. RIP Johnny Hockey. Truly a very tragic story, but it's going to be well remembered, I'm sure, in this upcoming season. Recognized by both his two former NHL teams as well as around the league, I imagine. Andrei Svechnikov. Jesper Brat. Willie Styles, William Nylander. Got his fresh new contract kicking in this year. Hopefully he's gonna have another great season, just like last year that got him that big eight-year deal. Kyle Palmieri. Alexander Dick. Tessier, 
Jesper Fast, Brennan Gallagher, big time grit, and our first Young Guns is Valtteri Pustinen. Valtteri Pustinen of the Pittsburgh Penguins. All right. One Young Gun down. And let's see. Since we're opening six packs, it's gonna probably mix and match in terms of how many we'll see per episode. Well, we've at least got one. Nico Dawes. Andrew Mangiapane. Eat that, eat that bread. Damon Severson. Pius Suter. Mo, big Mo. Morgan Riley, linchpin of those Toronto Maple Leafs, linchpin of that defense, I mean, Cam Fowler, Jordan Bennington, the backstop of that Stanley Cup champion St. Louis team, and whoa, man, defense mechanism. Evan Bouchard, this is the first one of these we've pulled as well. And Evan Bouchard coming off a monster year where he helped the Oilers within a couple of goals of a Stanley Cup fun. It was not to be those, those Florida Panthers decided it was their moment in history. Much to the chagrin of Oiler fans and probably a good portion of Canada. Eric Johnson. Alex Killorn, Yanni Hockenpah, now a Toronto Maple Leaf. This big man, hopefully, is going to have a big impact if he can stay healthy. It obviously took a couple of months to officially agree that uh, he was going to be well enough to play. And that, I guess, still remains to be seen whether he's going to be well enough to play. Anthony Mantha, but at least there's a chance. They're saying there's a chance. Neil Pionk. Oh, Kraken right there. Shout out to big Kraken fans, Freedom Suffer and Julie Farnham. Jacob Truba and oh, it's time to get dazzled. Oh, man. Nothing more dazzling, at least in the pickle household, than in Austin Matthews. Look at that, how perfect. Austin Matthews in the blue. The blue and the white right there. This is quite the collection of different inserts in episode one. Gotta say, loving it, loving it. We have not hit any of the big uh, young guns yet, but hey, we got a lot of packs to go. Pavel Buchnevich, we've pulled his young guns before when we were searching for Austin Matthews. Brandon Tanev. Jonas Brodin to the wild. Linus Ulmark now with the Ottawa Senators. Will he be just as outstanding with them? Or will he go back to being a little mediocre like he was with his various other teams, the Sabres? I guess it was just the Sabres. All right. Uh, Thatcher Demko. Is he going to be healthy enough to play anytime soon? Shea Theodore. One of the key pieces of the Vegas Golden Knights. But in the last year of his contract, will Vegas still have room to sign him? Will they pitch him aside like they have done with so many of their other star players? Like Jonathan Marshall. So Anthony Sorelli and our second Young Guns is Matthias Macelli. Of course, Tony Macelli's uh, long lost son. Shout out who's the boss. So two Young Guns. Matthias Michelli, Valtteri Pustinen, a center of attention of Joel Eriksson Eck, defensive mechanism of Evan Bouchard, Austin Matthews Dazzler, and once again, an RIP to Mr. Johnny Hockey. And that is an upper decker Thursday in the books. And we catch you on the next one. A bye.
little pickle. Yes, guys. Little pickle. Big pickle. Little pickle. Big pickle. Big pickle. Little pickle. Big pickle. Pickle. Little pickle. Little pickle, big pickle, pickle, rick. Little pickle, pickle, rick. Let's go. Yes, guys.